Y'all want to see a, a ball spot? Do y'all want to see a ball spot? <laughs> Hi you guys, it's your girl Anna Bay of BK Baruka Honey and I'm back at it again with another mother flipping vlog. Make sure you like the video. Absolutely free, free 99 and it helps you girl out a lot and make sure you subscribe as well. So of course I'm heading out the door, more doctor appointment type stuff. Like I was just there. I was just there. Why do I have to go again? But anyway, I have done this black number, like all black, everything. That's that's all I have for now. And then I got on this cute little sweater that I got from D. Discount. I really like this sweater. Like, it's not exactly my style, but it's cute. So we're in the car. Y'all, let me just tell y'all how ready I am for this pregnancy labor delivery everything just dealing with going to the doctor to just be over with i know like once i have my baby i'm gonna have to go to like pediatricians and stuff like that which is a whole nother thing but i am sure that i'm not gonna pick a pediatrician that is downtown houston absolutely not but y'all so the hospital called me at what time this morning like eight this morning because i kind of overslept a little bit to bring marley to school so i'm like dropping marley off they call me talking about um we need you to come in to do blood work first of all i was just there a few days ago i did blood work a few days ago what you need me to come there for again so they was like, we really need you to come in to do blood work and talk to the anesthesiologist and da da da. And I'm just like, I was just fucking there. Like, that's the stuff that be pissing me off. I was just there. Why do I have to drive all the way there again? And then you call me the day of and tell me that I need to come in today. Y'all don't have no appointments tomorrow. Well, um, if I'd have been busy today, then what the hell you was gonna do? Cause why y'all telling me that the day of like like does that make any sense to anybody i don't think so so that pissed me off because i was tired usually after i drop marty to school i like take a little nap because my sleep schedule has just been not good basically like i can't sleep at night like i can't sleep I go to sleep around three o'clock. Gotta bring Marty to school at six, well, seven and something. So I don't really get sleep. Like the only sleep I get is during the day. Don't know why I can't sleep at night, but the only sleep I get is during the, during the day. But anyway, um, I don't know. I don't really feel that tired today. Maybe because I'm just up. But yeah, I usually be sleeping around this time, but. Yeah, so I stayed up, <clears throat> got me some breakfast. Well, not got me some breakfast. I cooked me some breakfast, y'all. So I stopped eating bacon because it makes me, it makes my sinuses act up, basically. I don't know if I'm allergic to bacon or what, but every time I eat bacon, I have sinus, like it triggers my sinuses or allergies, whatever you want to call them and yeah i have to deal with that for a few days but um i decided to eat bacon today because <laughs> claire bought bacon i was like damn i ain't had no bacon in a while i love bacon i love bacon but it makes me not feel great but i had some this morning so i'm gonna just pray to god like i please spare me this one time i promise i won't eat bacon again for a long periodically time just spare me this one time so had breakfast took my vitamins and i got dressed i know y'all tired of seeing me with this ratchet ass clip what is it called uh not a banana clip claw clip i know y'all tired of seeing me with this this wig sheds like nobody's business this wig is by gita i think it is hair from aliexpress 
and whenever I first got the wig, it was literally everything. Like, I even put one of my homegirls onto the wig. I'm like, damn, this wig is good. Y'all, you gotta give the hair a little time to marinate. You gotta give the hair a little time to see how long the hair is gonna last, how good the hair is gonna be. So, a few months down the line, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many months, but after a while, this hair started to shed like crazy. And I'm thinking it's shedding from the bundles, no, bitch. It was shedding from the tip top of the, the closure. Y'all, I got a ball spot on this closure. But I'm like decent at like covering it. And I know y'all probably like, well, bitch, why are you still wearing it? Hear me out, hear me out. So I could have took this wig off and put on my jerry curl, my little curly wig, the one that I like. But uh, I ain't felt like it. I mean, it's just really that simple. I didn't feel like it. So what I did was I ordered a wig from AliExpress. And I actually used this company before, and this company is pretty good. So um, yeah, I ordered me a new wig. So my wig is it's been shipped already. I'm just waiting on it. That's why I'm still wearing this wig because I'm like, look, I'm not taking off this hair, put on a jerry curl wig, take the jerry curl wig off, and put on another wig. Abs girl, look, no. That don't even sound like something I would do. So I'm waiting on my wig. It should be here any day. You know, AliExpress, they usually, you know, get your stuff to you, well, your hair at least, to you within like three to four business days. And I ordered this. Ooh, the train tracks, baby. I ordered this wig like Thursday. So if I ordered the wig on Thursday, did I order it Thursday? I was a Saturday. I can't remember when I ordered the wig. It was either Thursday or Saturday, one of those days. But anyway, usually they don't take that freaking long to send it to you. So, if my calculations are correct, I should have the wig before Saturday. If I ain't got the wig by Saturday, then baby, we just gonna put on a curly wig. We gonna be delivering Cali in the curly wig. That's all it's gonna be. Because since my delivery, or is it, is it still considered a delivery if it's a C-section? Is it still considering, do I have to get induced even though it's a C-section? I don't know. That's my question. I'm going to have to go to Google after this. But anyway, um, since I'm scheduled to have my baby on Sunday, I it's not a surprise. So I don't have no reason why I can't be cute. No reason why I should not be cute during my delivery. Um, so I have time to do my hair, put on makeup before I get there and stuff like that. Just so I can be decent, you know? You know, whenever she first see her mama, I don't want her to see me at my worst. She gonna see me at my decentness, my best, or whatever. The girl with the tattoo. Y'all, when I get home, I need to clean my house. My room, for sure. I mean, I I can't bring Callie home to my room looking like that. She gonna be like, bitch, you knew I was coming. Why you ain't cleaning this room? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's partially my fault, but it's partially Marty's fault. So Marty and I, you know, we just, I don't know. We need a bigger place. That's all I'm saying. We need a bigger place. Or we need to get rid of some stuff. Like toys, clothes, stuff like that. So whenever she gets off of school, I told her already we're going to go through all of this stuff. And throw away, get rid of, give away, whatever. A lot of these things that it's just around. Nobody's used to. So yeah, I want to do that. And then I know my mom is coming probably Saturday I think she's coming so I'm pretty sure she's gonna do like the more deep cleaning like mopping and all that stuff that's what she wanted to do but the things that I have to actually be there for is the things like what do you want to get rid of so that's what we're gonna do get that out of the way so whenever she comes it's gonna be like an easy cleanup or whatever girl don't tell me I'm stuck on this elevator what the hell why is this my look? Why is this? So I'm officially done with the, the, what? What? So 
so I'm officially done at the doctor. I be getting tongue tied like a mug. Officially done at the doctor. Now I am at Randall's. If y'all have a Randall's in y'all area, shop at Randall's, baby. Check out the app. Check out the sale paper because I just got three. Wait, I got five cases of water. You buy two, you get three free. Buy two, get three free. Excuse me? So, yeah, that's where we are. Um, I'm at Randall's. I got five cases of water. And now I'm trying to find snacks. Because I'm scheduled to have my baby Sunday. So, I need to get snacks. I don't know what kind of snacks I want. Uh... Probably some chocolates, I ain't gonna lie. Reese's, something like that. Uh, I don't know what kind of snacks to bring. Chips, I don't know. My upstairs neighbors are loud as hell. What are they doing up there? It sounds like it's a human walking right now, but a lot of times it sounds like they got a werewolf or a bear or something up there just doing the freaking most i'm so ready to move like for real but y'all um i made it home and i received some news that i should have knew because i had surgery already but i can't wear no makeup when i have my surgery i was like are you serious but i totally forgot about that because i know for my um surgery in the dominican i couldn't i couldn't wear no makeup like they want you to wash with the HIPAA cleanse. Hold on, let me show y'all the stuff that they gave me in my bag. So they gave me this bag and they just have like <clears throat> papers with instructions telling me that I need to arrive at 9 o'clock. And my surgery will be done at 11 o'clock. And just, um, you know, what to do. So basically, I have to use this HIPAA cleanse. I had to use this. For my surgery is basically some antiseptic skin cleanser it makes your skin super dry um it's supposed to like remove all bacteria just basically strip your skin of anything any oils anything like so don't use this on your private areas because girl you could be dry as hell but whew. Yeah, so I have to use this the night before and then the morning of. And then she said they're going to prep me for surgery and everything. Oh, my God. But, like, I'm not even scared. I'm not even scared. And I'm really not scared. The only thing is I'm going to be awake. For my surgery before, I wasn't awake, obviously. But this surgery, I'm going to be up. So I'm going to be like, oh, my God. I know what y'all doing even though I can't feel anything so basically she told me I'm gonna get the injection in my back which I'm assuming is the epidural and then after they do my surgery I'm gonna get some kind of injection in my incision and it's gonna prevent me from feeling anything for three days now I had a tummy tuck before but I never had a c-section before I'm assuming it's gonna be like the same but for my tummy tuck, I didn't feel my scar at all for like almost a year. So she said this injection they're giving me is going to last for 72 hours. So, but usually whenever you have surgery, the first three days is usually the worst. So if the medicine lasts for 72 hours, then I feel like I'm good. And if I'm not, I could just take like Tylenol. Like I don't think. It's going to be that severe, honestly. But I'm excited. Oh, my God. My heart. <laughs> my chest. I'm excited. But, yeah, I got me some snacks from the store. I just got, like, some little... What did I get? I think I got, like, some little cakes. Some chips. I don't really know what to get. I'm just like, I don't really know what to get. Uh, so, I just grabbed a few things. Yeah, that's probably going to be it. She said I should be in the hospital for like two days. Two to three days. So that's what she said. But I'm assuming it's just going to be two days. Because I heal really quick. I 
like my health is really good so i don't think i'm gonna be staying too long so yeah i'm ready to go but at this hospital i'm only allowed to have four visitors i think throughout the entire duration of me being there so yeah i already have two people that's for sure for sure like have to come and then the other two is probably gonna be my brother and probably his girlfriend i don't know we'll see though we'll see we'll see so it looks like my thanksgiving plans are canceled because i'm gonna be home with my baby for thanksgiving i'm not going anywhere they just got to bring me food i'm staying home watch tv take care of my baby and that's it hey y'all so we back in the pink robe in the bathroom or whatever but uh yeah so i'm about to wash my wig this curly wig just in case because today is saturday and i'm having my baby tomorrow so i want to have my hair done so um i had ordered this wig and it was supposed to be here already like i thought it was gonna be here but it's not so um yesterday i seen that they said attempt delivery but i'm like how you attempt the how you attempt delivery somebody was here all day yesterday so i think they lying so um i'm about to wash this wig my curly wig get it prepped just in case i have to wear it because if the wig that i bought does not come in this is what this is what we're gonna be doing so whenever i wash my wigs uh what do i do first yeah whenever i wash my wigs i use this first just to get all the gook out of it it's like clarifying shampoo works really well then i wash with this silicone mix and then i condition with this silicone mix so i'm gonna go ahead and wash the wig bring her back to life and she don't take long to dry i actually really, i really like this wig and so far so good uh i don't know if i'm gonna be recommending wigs anytime soon because yeah i, I really want to like try them out like for real for real but i really like this wig though so i'm about to wash it and yeah so as you can see my wig did not arrive FedEx played me. They talking about they tried to deliver the wig yesterday unsuccessfully. Maybe. I didn't go anywhere yesterday. So if you tried to deliver my wig yesterday, then how? So I just put this wig on, which I ain't even mad about it. Y'all want to see a, a ball spot? Do y'all want to see a ball spot? This wig, after I show y'all this ball ass spot, is going right in the damn trash. I mean, you can see straight through it. Are you kidding? Anyway, trash. Pure trash will never order from them again. But, um, yeah, I'm, like, dressed. I'm about to go meet up with my, one of my friends at Moxie's. So, I really wanted to meet up with one of my friends because um, she lives in Atlanta and I haven't seen her in a while. And I really wanted to get out and do something, like... Yeah. And I really wanted to do something before, you know, I have my baby. I'm having my baby tomorrow, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm trying to, like, finish drink this powery. They wanted me to drink it. But, yeah. Y'all, before I get up off of here, I really wanted to show y'all what the hell is going on with my hands. So, I'm ashy as hell right now. But, look at this. It's like this hand is way more ashy than this hand. This hand is regular ashy. This hand is like, ugh, bitch, do you ever moisturize ashy? And it also has like a texture to it. It's like, I don't know, it's giving croc skin, alligator croc skin. So <clears throat> I'm putting some of this nipple cream on it. This organic nipple cream i read the reviews and everyone was saying like i use it for more than just nipple cream it's really good and i remember whenever my nipples was cracking 
I used it <clears throat> and it shook my nipples back like really well. So I'm hoping it does the same thing to my hand. <sighs> it's like my hand is weird looking. I don't know. I'm hoping that's just like a, one of my side effects of being pregnant. One of my symptoms of being pregnant. I don't know. Because that's some weird stuff. And it's just one hand. So I'm hoping after I have my baby it just goes away. But yeah. So we about to get up out of here in these streets. I'm only going to be out for like an hour. Come home. And yeah. Do you remember when we fell in love? We were young and innocent then. Remember how it all began? It just seemed like heaven. So I did it. Do you remember? Y'all, my feet swollen. What the hell? So this is the second time that my feet have swollen up. Let me see what I'm doing. Oh my God. My feet look like sausage links. And y'all see where, this one my shoe was. Wow. I got kinkles again. This the biggest my feet ever been though. Like they ain't never. Whenever I thought I had kinkles the first time. Yeah, I'm gonna bring some check. Oh, I'm cutting off my circulation. Pass the Dutchy Pony left inside. Y'all, so I've made it home. And I'm not even tired. But I'm about to take my shower. So I have to take my shower and have a cleanse. And uh, whenever I wake up in the morning, I have to take another shower and have a cleanse. Have a, have a cleanse? Have a cleanse. I'm not sure. But yeah, made it home. I had such an amazing time tonight. It's so nice to catch up with your friends. So my friend, she live in Atlanta. And I didn't realize that I haven't seen her in over a year. It don't feel that long. But yeah, we caught up. It was a good time. I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. It was a good night before, you know, I go to the hospital to have my baby. But yeah, I'm going to like try to get everything together. Well, everything is already together. I'm going to just double check and make sure everything is together for real, for real. But yeah, tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. I'm going to be having a baby. So um, I guess I'm going to end the vlog here. I finished up my Gatorade. Whew, so... Yeah, I did that. Finished up my Gatorade. I'm about to shower. And I guess I'm going to like try to sleep. Try to sleep. Wake up early in the morning and then boom, we on the road. But yeah, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout the vlog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you like the video. It is absolutely free, y'all. Just like the video. Subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see you on the next one.